Hey everyone, welcome back to another interesting Tosca lesson. And today we are going to look at a scenario where you have got two different tabs which are basically the same web page and you are trying to perform or automate some scenario in this particular web page right so the challenge here is as there are two tabs which are exactly the same uh, they have got the same properties same controls and even the same page title right so so when you execute any test uh, in this type of scenario either you have to close one of the tabs right so that you have just got one single tab open or you have to always make sure that um, you are closing all your browser tabs before opening a new page and then performing your test. Otherwise, if you execute your test with this particular scenario, uh, it is always going to fail, right? Because Tosca is never going to decide where it is going to perform that click because there is no property uh, through which it can decide uh, which one uh, is the unique one and which one it should click okay so first uh, let's see uh, the scenario uh, so if i have opened these two tabs and i have this test case which just clicks uh, on the automobile link this one right so if i run this uh, it's always going to fail so once the execution starts uh, you will see that it is trying to switch between two different tabs um, and it is trying to find out uh, maybe uh, some control uh, it can find a different property but it is not able to right so it will continue like this for some time and then uh, it is going to fail with the error message saying that uh, multiple tabs are open which has the same name and hence uh, it is not able to execute this particular test or it is just going to fail it right so as you can see here uh, in the log info, right? So if I expand this, you will see that uh, it is saying more than one matching tab was found and hence it has failed this particular step, right? Now to resolve these kind of issues, uh, Tosca provides you uh, with an option uh, where you can add a particular configuration parameter which is known as constraint index, okay? And that can be added to the module and then uh, it can decide which particular index uh, it should consider while performing that particular uh, operation on a control, right? So it is pretty similar to uh, when we scan different elements, right? And we, if we have got uh, the same element a number of times on that particular page, then we provide a index, right? And uh, based on that index, then Tosca can decide uh, which particular control to click if there are multiple controls. Like, similarly, uh, this situation is quite similar, but instead of me going back and scanning this module, right, uh, with two different pages and then uh, putting indexes there or putting some other uh, scanning mechanism, uh, rather than that, the easier way is to just modify the module and uh, put an extra property here, okay? So if I go to this particular module, here uh, is my module attribute, right? And uh, I can right click on the module and there you will find different types of parameters I can add. One of them is the configuration parameter. So I'm going to create this, okay? Uh, so here uh, the name, you have to replace it with constraint index. And in value, you have to provide the value. So basically on which uh, page you want to perform this operation on, right? So if I say uh, two, so it is going to select the second tab, okay? So uh, let's go ahead and verify this quickly. So if I'm going to run this again, right? Now you will see that it has gone to the second tab and it has executed our script which is clicking on that automobile link right so basically uh, this is how uh, you can tell tosca on which particular tab index it can go and it can perform that particular operation okay so um, i can change it to any particular value okay uh, in my particular module i can change this to one or two or three right 
but uh, this is not the ideal way of doing it okay because uh, i don't want any static value uh, and i don't want to keep it changing from uh, the module level right so i should put uh, some mechanism through which it can be changed automatically right from the test okay so how can we do that let's add uh, another test step here uh, and we are going to use a buffer right now so we'll say t box set buffer uh, and we'll put it previous or prior to this particular operation right so in this t box set buffer uh, we are going to put uh, index okay and uh, we are going to put a value here okay so we'll be basically controlling the flow of this test case right from here okay so if you want to click on the first tab we will do that from here if you want to do it on the second tab we can do it from here okay so once you uh, create a buffer value right like a variable which has got this value one now we want to use it in the module okay so let's go back here in the module and instead of this static value i'm going to replace it with a buffer value okay it's the same way you do it in your test cases or test steps uh, which is start with curly brace and then put b and then square bracket and then the particular uh, variable okay so which is index for us so now it is going to refer to that particular value which uh, will be putting in this particular test case right now i can drive multiple values here um, from my test case design sheet or from a configuration parameter but uh, you can configure it easily right but you can basically control uh, the execution right from here rather than going and changing every time uh, on the module level okay so now if i run this uh, it should basically click on the first tab okay but before that let me uh, bring the state of both the application to the same level okay and now let's go ahead and run this so as you can see uh, it has now clicked on the first tab instead of the second tab okay similarly uh, you can handle multiple tabs um, if they are open on your web page still you can uh, run your automation on a single tab using this particular configuration parameter with a constraint index okay so hope uh, this uh, short video was helpful um, in resolving one of your issues which you might face while uh, executing your tests and multiple tabs are open for your application also for watching more interesting videos do tune in into our channel uh, if you have not subscribed yet do subscribe so that whenever uh, we uh, come up with a new video you will be getting notified uh, about it so i will see you next time with another interesting uh, tosca lesson uh, in the coming up video pretty soon